After 4 years interval, now we will have the final one EC launched at the same street. You might want to ask, 4 ECs along the same street, will it be oversupply in the future? Before we get started, make sure you subscribe, click the alert notification, that way, as we release more content like this, you will get notified. Hello, I'm the property strategist Stephen Chong, and today I'm going to share my own review on Ola EC. Ola is the new executive condo jointly developed by Evia and Gamuda. Located at Anchorvale Crescent, Ola EC is 10 minutes walk to the Sengkang Interchange. If you lazy to walk, you can also take the LRT which is just 1 minute walk outside your EC and just one stop away from the Sengkang Interchange. Good news for young families because there are 4 primary schools within the 1 km radius and the popular Nan Chiao Primary School is one of them. All the units at Ola EC are north-south facing. The main entrance is at Anchorvale Crescent opposite the Vales EC. Behind Ola EC is another EC, Treasure Crest. On the other side of Ola, currently is a forested area and is joined under educational institution. Across the Anchorvale Street is Sengkang General Hospital. All smaller units, the 2 bedroom and 3 bedroom standard, are facing outward, whereas the bigger units, 3 bedroom premium and 4 bedroom, are facing inward. Ranging from 1 bedroom to 5 bedroom, Ola EC is 16 storey high. All the 5 bedroom are penthouse on the top floor. Okay now, let's start with the 2 bedroom 775 square feet. Once you enter the unit, you can see that the kitchen is tucked to the one corner on the left hand side. Although it is an open concept kitchen, it comes with a window for natural light and ventilation. So if you do heavy cooking frequently, you can shift the dining area a bit and then you can do a partition to create an enclosed kitchen. You also have a study corner that comes with a window and you have each bedroom on the left and the right hand side. There are only two stacks out of the entire project and this is a modern layout very rare in today's new launch market. Okay, we have three types of three bedroom standard, deluxe and premium. For the three bedroom standard, we have B1 and B2. They don't have a storeroom. Both B1 and B2 has a foyer which gives good privacy. B1 has an L-shaped living and dining hall. Whereas B2 is a rectangular shaped living and dining hall which looks more spacious However, you have to compromise that the view from the balcony will not be great due to the master bedroom wall. B2 has a rectangular shaped kitchen whereas B1 kitchen is squarish. In addition, there is less privacy for the common bedrooms because they are right next to the dining room. I believe many of you may concern this layout doesn't come with a store. So, I have thought of one creative idea for Type B1. You can create your own storeroom by shifting the dining table there and build your own partition here. Is it a good idea? Please comment below what do you think. We have most of the units for B1. They are all facing either Treasure Crest or Sengkang General Hospital. Whereas for B2, we have only 3 stacks in the entire project. Next, we have 3 types of 3 bedroom, B3, B4 and B5. They are all same size, 1055 square feet. All the 3 bedroom premiums unit 
come with the long balcony extended to bedroom 3. First, let us compare B3 and B4 because they are having a similar layout except the kitchen. For B3, the kitchen has a few corners here and there, so I will feel more comfortable with the B4 kitchen which is a proper rectangular shape. Now, let us compare B4 and B5. When you are standing at the main door, we have a foyer for type B4. And this actually gives you privacy. Whereas for type B5, people standing outside your unit can see what's happening inside your house clearly. However, B5 has a storeroom that comes with a window. These are where all the three bedroom premiums situated and most of them are facing inward with pool view. Okay, we have only one stack of three bedroom deluxe, which is 1001 square feet. Similar to type B5, it doesn't have the foyer corner that gives privacy. There is also a storeroom as well for this three bedroom deluxe. There are only six stacks of four bedroom type and they are all with pool view. I love this four bedroom layout very much. You have the foyer and once you enter, you can see a very spacious living and dining hall. You have a huge kitchen with a see-through glass to the living hall. It comes with two en-suites. Ladies gonna love this long wardrobe in the master bedroom. And if you want to have another walk-in wardrobe in the junior master, you can tear down the bathroom and renovate into a beautiful walk-in wardrobe. We have only 9 units of 5 bedroom penthouse in total. We have PH1, 2 and 3. All are the same size 1722 square feet. For PH1, you have a wide living and dining hall and a huge rectangular kitchen. All the 5 bedrooms are tucked to one side. For PH2, the kitchen is more squarish, 3 bedrooms on the left hand side and 2 bedrooms on the right hand side. In terms of privacy, this type is better because of the foyer. Okay, the last one, PH3, one junior master bedroom on the left hand side and the other 4 bedrooms on the right hand side. I don't really like this layout because the kitchen is not squarish and got some corners here and there. Four ECs along the same street, will it be oversupplied in the future? Further away from the Sengkang interchange, we have Park Botania transacted above 1,300 PSF. And the estimated average price for Ola EC is around 1,100 PSF. Imagine in the future, you just have to sell at the purchase price of Park Botania, then you will make a gross profit of easily 20%. Good school, you have Nan Chiao Primary School. Shopping mall, you have Compass One and Selita Mall. LRT is just one minute walk away and it's just one station away from the Sengkang Interchange. Even though Ola EC is the fourth EC at Anchorvale Crescent, the huge demand from the HDB upgraders in Sengkang Estate can still absorb the supply. Anything below 1,100 PSF will be a very good buy. If you want to learn how to choose a good unit, you can watch my other video on that topic. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. Bye. What if we're living in a fantasy? Come home to a place of wonder, inspired by artistry, inspired by living, where everything you can imagine is real. Come home to Ola.